everyone, welcome back to In My Mug. It's great to see you all again in this beautiful Saturday morning. I'm your coffee friend Midori, and today's coffee is a wonderful coffee from Bolivia. So put your kettle on and let's start brewing. Ooh. So, Vincente Payet uh, washed Katura. So this is another coffee from Caranavi region uh, in Bolivia. The town is called Copacabana. It's uh, located in 180 kilometers uh, from the city called La Paz in, in the heart of the Caranavi coffee producing region. So the main harvest season for Bolivia is uh, uh, from May to September and the, around, the peak is around June, July and August. So this is a really fresh coffee from this region and I'm really excited to taste this coffee. So if you've seen our Christmas episode last year, um, you know Bolivian coffees are facing some tough, difficult times like dwelling crops, um, aging plants and you know lack of varietal uh, diversity or like aging, aging um, farmers and the young generations they are like little to no interested in you know carrying on the family business and but people like Vincente Payet they are doing wonderful work to um, back, up, back that trend. So he's been planting new crops and working hard with his family and increasing his you know, coffee yield and also increasing the quality of the, um, his coffee. And one of the, my favorite story about this family is um, Vincente families. Um, if you can find this photo, maybe it's here. <laughs> so um, his daughter, who is holding the parrot in her hand, um, she was not a big fan of um, Vincente's work. Well, she thought, you know, it, it was like a kind of um, um, draining her, um, you know, his time and, you know, prevent him to spend more time with his family and one time she saw him talking about coffee in some English magazine and that made her so proud of her father and then in her school she mentioned that one of my heroes is my father. What a great story about this. It's such a wonderful family and I'm so looking forward to taste this coffee. So today, I'm going to brew this coffee with our classic Chemex recipe. Okay, so let's get brewing. Um, I've got Chemex, hot water, about 95 degrees, and 30 grams of coffee. And did you know that there are two kind of Chemex filter papers? So one is this classic one. It like makes it look like a pulp, you know, um, when you put it on here. And sometimes like when you're pouring hot water, it might be, you know, this bit is a little bit in the way. And if you prefer like this kind of cone shaped filter, we also have it in our, on our website. It's called FP1. And then this one is called FS100. And I'm gonna try and brew Chemex with this really nice looking filter paper. And like as normal, just make this, uh, rinse the paper to get rid of the paper flavor. And also it will prevent um, paper to absorb the oil from the coffee as we tested before. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna get rid of this water. Okay, tear it, 30 grams, and add 60 grams of water, make sure everything is saturated, yes, good, and then wait for 30 seconds, 
to 45 seconds. And then now add 200 grams of water. I really like this um, Chemex Brewers. It's just like it makes me feel so calm and enjoy brewing coffee. I feel like I'm brewing, you know, this coffee. Okay, and then wait for another 30 seconds and then I'm going to add 70 grams, I uh, know, 80 grams every 30 seconds and then bring it up to 500 grams of hot water. Okay, so last pour. So I'm gonna pour this up to 500 gram mark. So if you have been to Husband's website, we do have a hand-blown version of the Chemex and it's quite incredible. And when you're pouring um, water on Chemex filled paper, please avoid pouring on the side of the paper because when you pour on the side, and it will go alongside of this uh, outer layer of the paper filter and between layer of filter paper and Chemex brewers. And then you might have like different result to your coffee flavor. Okay, so it looks like it stopped dripping. I really enjoy this um, flat cut filter, do you call it? It was so easy to pour over it. Um, it's, it feels like the square one is nicer to pick it up, um, but this one is really easy to pour and it looks really nice and tidy. Okay, let's taste this wonderful coffee. Okay, I gotta do it really quick. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy Bolivian coffee. It's, you know, it's a landlocked country and then it maybe like take more longer time to, you know, get to us and it's probably more pricey, but it tastes great. It's wonderful. Cheers, guys. It's such a lovely coffee. Um, I personally like washed processed coffee. It feels nice and, you know, clean and quite balanced cup. And especially in the morning, I, prefer to have something nice and balanced. So I'm like, you know, still a little bit sleepy, but like, you know, okay, I need coffee. And then let's get going. January is still super busy. Um, this coffee definitely has really nice, it's citrusy, it's more like, like Satsuma, so it's not, strong citrusy flavor, but it has really nice juicy sweetness and a bit of like a passion fruity um, and then raisin aftertaste. I will definitely enjoy this coffee in the morning. Yeah, so what do you think about this coffee? Let me know what kind of brewing method you use or what kind of brewing method you'd like to see in um, 2022 and I'd like to know what your thought is and then how you're enjoying this in my mug episodes and make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're not gonna miss any more episode in the future so thank you very much for watching everyone and happy brewing